number of other topics that I know people care about, but let's go to the streetcar for a second. Um, your, the two other candidates that are in the race um, are big, pretty big supporters and proponents of the streetcar, and I think some people have been talking about you as being one of the dissenters uh, on that, um, but I kind of wanted to make sure that people got a chance to hear from you as to what your view on the streetcar is. Right. I, I appreciate the question. You know, uh, I've been knocking on hundreds of doors throughout the community and talking to people, and that's usually the first question on most people's minds. Uh, first, I'm the only candidate running from South Arlington. I drive the Columbia bike every single day. I know that area probably better than uh, than uh, anybody else that's just running in this field. Um, you know, I'm very pro-transit, but I have to be honest with you, John. I actually have to say right now that I have a large amount of concern regarding the Columbia bike system. Um, you know, in business, it comes down to consumer confidence, and it comes down to you know proving your ability before you ask for a larger order. And I just don't think that we have the confidence right now in Arlington to take on a project of this magnitude. You know, we've talked about if we can't build something as, as small as a bus stop, affordably and effectively, spent a million dollars on that. And we recently just had to put our aquatic center on hold because the, the budget and the uh, forecasting is just completely out of whack. What makes me think, and the people actually think, that we can build a streetcar effectively and on time. I don't, I don't think it's right to to ask people to, you know, build this streetcar at this time. I mean, we can focus on something that's real world and actually get the job done tomorrow. I don't want to talk about, you know, three years from now, we can, once we've earned confidence back, we can get options later. But right now, we really need to focus on something like BRT and get the, get the public moving on the Columbia Pike portal. And affordable housing is also a huge issue in relationship to, uh, you know, the streetcars and the new developments in that area. So we have to take all of those things into consideration. So that, that, those questions, actually, we had three callers, Beatrice, uh, Robert, and Maureen, who were asked about the streetcar. Hopefully, that I uh, got a chance to answer questions. A Thank little, you to all three of you. I appreciate the question. A little bit of a follow-up to that. Um, one of the questions that people asked was about the concept of the referendum uh -huh. versus just having the board vote. Do you ever feel sure? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very familiar with referendums being from California. Um, and while a lot of people like to say, you know, we can't govern by consensus, I, I, I do believe in a... Arlington's always, we started to act like Arlington's a big city when really we're a small town. You know, asking a, having a referendum is, is not an issue for me. I mean, if the people want to build it, we can build it. But, you know, I, I, I think that this election is almost a referendum on whether or not we're going to support the streetcar. Great. 